and the two that it found are both temporary internet files. What that means is that they weren't actually running. I'm just going to show you. The first one is this one here, NSP colon or one. So if I try running that, it doesn't actually run. Norton doesn't let these things run. So that is not actually infected in the system whatsoever at all. So that really doesn't largely count. Uh, there is one thing though, this the Norton doesn't actually see this as being uh, a virus in that sense, but uh, I am running a full s uh, system scan with the uh, Norton to see if it found this as a virus. But I really doubt it. It would have came up by now if it did see it as a virus, so I don't think it's going to see this as a virus. But uh, maybe the insight might see something. What the insight is is if someone else has seen it and reported it as a virus. But uh, yeah, I definitely don't think that it's going to find this to be a virus. Um, as we're speaking in the background, the uh, the Mauerbytes is running a scan in the background for the uh, Rogers Online Protection right now, so it's still doing stuff. But uh, I do not believe that that's going to find that as a virus. I'm going to open up the other one as we're as we're here and just show this one. I'm going to try double clicking that and running that and uh, we'll see that oh, that one is running actually in the background. So if I run that one it does run. Okay, very interesting. So that one I would consider infected. Um, it definitely is doing something here right now. Um, so I'm not too sure what to take of that. But, oh, there it is there. Alright, so Norton did pick that one up. It just took it a few seconds. I'm going to say remove the file. And uh, we'll wait on that to see if it uh, actually removes it or not. Uh, I don't suspect it could because, oh, it's not running in the background anymore. Alright, so that's interesting. So Norton did kill it. Um, I take it this is why it was asking me to reboot is so that it could delete this file from my system. Uh, I'm just going to see if there's anything running on startup with this system so that uh, we can test that but Norton did detect that second one as a virus I just didn't run the full system scan therefore I didn't really get anything so let's see if anything's starting up uh, with the system and I'm looking at a at a very clean um, hijack this um, information so there is nothing in there and I just want to show you something here. I'm going to run CCleaner. Just run CCleaner. Nice and simple. Nothing major, just running CCleaner. And I want to see if that virus is still there. Hey, look at that. It's gone. Look at that. They're both gone. I ran CCleaner. Both viruses were completely gone. So, I mean, nobody's going to go in there. Oh, <laughs> Okay, Norton did actually find them both. So if I was going to run a full system scan, I would have found both those viruses and it would have both removed them. So these don't count. The only reason why I'm not counting them is because Norton detected them both and if I ran CCleaner, it would have removed them as well. So either way, those didn't get through Norton. It's just it didn't fully remove them as they were coming in. And again, it w did ask me to reboot earlier in the, sc in the process. I just chose not to. So, uh, so far I wouldn't classify that as a failure. I would still classify that Norton caught both of them and that even if it didn't catch them, a, simp a, s a very simple uh, CCleaner scan would have removed them. So I'm going to wait for this to complete here and I'll be right back once it finishes. Alright, so we just finished our scan with uh, Mauerbytes on this particular system and uh, I want to show that uh, there is a uh, two things in temporary internet files that I will um, not technically really attack. This is the main virus that was running in the background. Keep in mind we would have found one more because I had to fix the executables that it was referencing but there's all these uh, um, other things in here that are causing major major issues. So hijacks and rogue antiviruses and stuff like that. Um, so it failed. Um, Rogers uh, online protection, not something I would suggest to most people. Um, in its default installation setup, doesn't look like it's very good. I'm just going to take a look and see if I can change any of the preferences. 
see if it's set up to be a, as secure as possible. Um, but uh, I mean, it it's it it failed pretty badly. I mean, you're not supposed to let these type of things through. These rogue antiviruses are definitely a bad thing. On top of that, I mean, if you don't want to take that and you're really trusting on saying that you really like the uh, the Rogers Yahoo, look at this. I mean, if you don't mind your system being eaten up in RAM for, like, crazy amounts of memory, absolutely horrendous crazy amounts, I mean, look at this. E easily, very easily over 150, regularly over 150 megabytes running in the background, which means regularly it's almost 10 times as uh, hindrance on your system than Norton. 10 times. Okay, easy. If we look over at Norton, it's got two processes running, and I bet you they might reach 12. Okay, so what's that? 15, let's say 14, 15 megabytes? Okay, 150. There's a big difference. Um, so, I mean, that one's set up all that you can do. Um, the firewall, let's see if this is, um, okay, so, yeah, that's pretty much okay. There's nothing in there that I could check off to make it more protective. I'm just making sure that there's nothing that I'm totally missing here. Maybe it comes pre-installed with some setting disabled, but this is just horrendous how bad this one is. Um, I wouldn't rate it too much better than uh, a free antivirus like AVG. Um, Avast should beat this one um, pretty pretty easily. Um, Avast, you got to change some settings, but uh, all the settings are set up to be as secure as humanly possible. Everything is on. Everything's up to date. This is a straight failure. Okay, do not use Rogers Yet Online Protection. It is not that good. As soon as you touch a rogue antivirus, it is not going to protect you. It's going to let them through. And this is covering the internet. These rogue antiviruses are out there in the thousands. They are very common. And these are what normally will attack your system. And as you've seen, Rogers has no intent on protecting you against these particular viruses. They're nasty. You need a technician to come out to fix them. They're not fun. Okay. Failure. Okay. I'd rate uh, Rogers Online Protection a... Uh, I'm going to be generous, a 2 out of 10, okay, and that's being generous. Um, I really don't think that this is a great antivirus. It slows down your computer, okay, it lets rogue antiviruses through, and, uh, I mean, it really doesn't help. It, it completely lets everything through. The only thing I'm going to give it 2 for is because of its ability to have firewall, anti-spyware, and, uh, and the antivirus, and th that it is built into a free setup if you buy Rogers. So uh, that's the only reason why I'm giving it to. If it were something that you would have had to pay for, oh god, zero. <laughs> like serious, it nobody would pay for this. So anyway, that's uh, that's my test on uh, Rogers Online Protection. Complete fail on my behalf. Uh, Norton made it look like it was uh, first year in development. Um, they need to do some more.